Good morning. Okay, so today's episode is all about the next section of my day, which um, is, uh, for me, going to the gym. And I don't want to put too much emphasis on the fact that I go to a gym to do my exercise, because really this is just about some form of exercise every day. Um, but I, uh, I should say, my preference is to go to the gym. I, I think it helps kind of to leave your house and go somewhere to do the exercise. It helps me kind of almost like compartmentalize it. It's a little bit like um, working from home versus working from an office. I find it much more productive if I actually leave the house and, and go to an office away from distractions, I guess, would be the main reason that that works. So I'm going to touch on um, the fact that I believe it to be massively important to carry out some form of daily exercise. And I'm talking about, you know, just increasing your heart rate. I'm talking about getting a bit of a sweat on, yeah? I'm talking about getting out of breath, putting your body under a certain amount of strain, which it wouldn't normally be under, okay? And we're gonna talk about that briefly this morning. This is something that I could talk about for a few episodes, but I don't really want to because I think this is an area where very quickly you could start venturing into the kind of the preaching um, almost zone. You know, you, 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 what I'm trying to avoid with these videos, that kind of, you know, you should be doing X amount of exercise and you need to be setting your goals high. You need to be smashing through them goals. And, you know, you know, kind of like my warm up is your workout. You know, all that shit that's flying about all over the place. It's not about that. It's about actually looking at this um, and looking at the benefits from a, like kind of a mindset point of view, because I've actually now come to a, a place, um, or I should say I've arrived at the realization, and I need you to understand, this has took me 15 years. Um, my relationship with the gym has been anything and everything. You know, I've had supplements, I've been on training courses, I've concentrated on cardio, I've had injuries where it's meant I've only, you know, I could only do me legs and anything you can imagine. I'm, you know, subscription to men's health, chasing the six pack. You know, I, I got like a, I got like a four pack once, uh, trained religiously and ate like a guinea pig for four months before a holiday. Got myself, um, you know, a, a certain angle under a certain light, what could be described as like abs. Got them. Got that. I've got a photo as well. Um, and then, you know, like three days into the holiday, you're on your 13th bread basket. You catch a glimpse of yourself in the mirror before you go out at night. And you've pretty much undone four months of hard graft, stress and kind of effort. So I've done it all. I've been there. I've been there. I've, you know, you, you name it. Uh, every protein shake, every, you know, creatine supplement. I've had it all. And the funny thing about that was... I was chasing a dream, yeah? That, that, that type of training is nine times out of 10 born from insecurities. And I was insecure perhaps about my body shape, my body size, you know, the, the lack or the amount of muscle that I might have. And that is really what that whole industry is all about. And, and I think that's what sells actually. Um, and perhaps the reason what I'm gonna sell it to you on is not spoken about a great deal is because Perhaps it is not as sexy, perhaps not as many supplements would be sold, perhaps not as much gym gear would be sold. But I am talking about the before and after as far as your mental state is concerned. This for me is where I'm at. I go down to the gym, I do 40 minutes in the gym and that's normally 30 minutes cardiovascular, 10 minutes weights, but light weights, just so I don't turn into like a stick man. And then I'll go downstairs to the steam room and, that, and that's normally where I do my meditation, which whoa, we're gonna be talking about tomorrow. The, the big M word, <laughs> the, the, the taboo subject of meditation. But that's what I do down at gym. So I do like 40 minutes down there. And I, and I push hard, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm a fit guy, you know, I've trained all my life. Um, I like to, to you know, push myself while I'm down there. 
But really, the biggest benefit, the biggest impact is the before and after as far as my mental state is concerned. And that is what I think anyone who's struggling to keep the, the, the routine up and anyone who just doesn't go to the gym full stop, start realising that your mind will thank you for it. Forget about, you know, beating your PBs. Forget about running further than you did last week. Forget about maybe packing on a bit of muscle so you look better on the beach. Think and believe me when I say you will be a much more rounded individual as far as your mental state is concerned if you hit the gym or if you do some form of daily exercise. So that's point number one, absolutely massive. It, it's, it's the main reason I train and without it, um, I don't think I could operate at the level that I do consistently. So that's, that's huge. And I really, really encourage um, people to slot some form of daily exercise in, 100%, if you wanna, if you wanna achieve your goals and you wanna be successful, okay? The other thing I think is fantastic about the gym, and I'm only gonna to touch on this today because I'm gonna do an episode on it later, is the correlation between being disciplined and your happiness. And the gym is the perfect example of this. The more disciplined you are with your physical exercise, contrary to popular belief, the happier and more kind of content you become. And I actually think that's something that people have got a bit twisted. I think people think if they're sitting on a couch with a Domino's and a six pack of beer, which is possibly the most undisciplined of activities of all time, that's what makes them happy. But then they just can't understand why they're so miserable and depressed all the time. Whereas your discipline, the, your level of discipline, in my experience, is directly related to your levels of happiness and your levels of contentment. So there's a couple of really, really key points about some form of physical exercise. Um, the only thing I would advise uh, to make this a bit easier, and this is a bit of a mad one because you know I don't really endorse you know getting all the gear and all the fancy trainers and all the all the rest of it. But if you can, and this has made a huge difference to me and my enjoyment of it, get yourself some wireless earphones. I trained with wires for bloody years. And only about 12 months ago did I get myself a pair of AirPods and it just makes the whole experience a little bit easier, a little bit nicer and, and having a bit of a beat behind you kind of spurs you on. And again, there's a bit of scientific evidence behind that. So today's episode's all about getting up, getting a move on and getting a bit healthier. And believe you me, you will thank me. Cheers. <laughs>